What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a Wulu sweep. We are finally doing the Generation 8 Pokemon battles. I'm so excited to start this. The theme teams are coming soon, people. You may have noticed we have a new intro and new graphics throughout the video. Big shout out to Lady Crimson and Lightson for those ones. Their links are in the description. Amazing talent there. I am so hyped for this, people. If you are hyped, leave a like on the video. And if you've got a Pokemon you want me to cover, I want to cover some of the new Pokemon. So I'm going to be going with the most popular one in the comment section. So load it below. If you see a comment you like, you know, vote that up and I shall endeavor to do it. Now, if you haven't checked me out on Twitch, Patreon, and Twitter, make sure you do. The links are in the description of the video. Now, Woolaloo itself is a very, very barren move for Pokemon. So I had to come up with uh, a decent strategy to try and get it some stats. And here we go, people. Here's a little look into what the uh, Wi-Fi battles are looking like. So the one thing I have to mention too, there is no versus recorder in this game, so I can't save the battle after I do it. All my, uh, obviously, my viewing of the battle is live. So obviously, there's little cuts in between every turn, but I sort of flowed it together as best as I could. So we're going to start things off with a digger. Now, we're getting a little bit creamy on the other side of the field. I know it's the first Wi-Fi battle, but contain yourselves, all right? So now we've got a Giga Drain uh, from the Alcremia. It's going to take me all the way down to my Focus Sash. I use Digger a lot throughout Gen 7 and stuff and Gen 6 and stuff. So now we're going to go for a Final Gambit. Final Gambit is fire. Look at that. It almost looked like Chandelure's like little flame in the middle of its body. Um, that was really, really cool. So we got a Giga Drain. That's not going to hit me at all. And now we're going to swap into Ninjas. Now, there was a problem here, right? Because there only are, uh, obviously, we don't have the entire Pokedex. Now, I've got to think of Pokemon that actually can help my Wooloo out. Now, Wooloo's speed is not very good. Its attack is not very good. And when I said at the start of the video, it only learns like a couple of physical attacking moves. So, I really had to give some stats to it. So, we're going to use our Ninjask in this instance. This has Speed Boost and Sword Dance. I've used this uh, Pokemon a couple of times. Uh, we got a Mystical Fire there, which actually looks really cool uh, from the Alcremi. And it doesn't take out my Ninjask, which is really cool. Now, now, New Jess does have a focus, actually. Obviously, if I come across a more powerful attack, I would have been able to live that one, too. So, Wooloo is a very slow Pokemon, so I'm going to set up another sub shoot there. Just getting that sub off. I need to live on one health, people. I can't wait, people, to the time that an opponent lives on one health. When's it going to happen? The first theme team or what? Also, speaking of theme teams, people, they are going to be coming this week weekend. So I, I may try and do a couple of Pokemon sweeps throughout the weekend, um, throughout the week, sorry, and uh, we should have some of them popping on the uh, Sunday or something like that. Alright, so I've got a Baton Pass. I only managed to get like plus two in attack, which is not going to be nearly enough uh, for the Wooloo. So we're going to go into 69 gigabytes RAM. Now, when you purchase a computer, right, you need to make sure you got the right amount of RAM. And uh, 69 gigs is the perfect amount to run all your games. Alright, so we got the Creamy swapping out there. It's not really going to do a lot of damage. And now we got now just like don't roast me too hard for not pronouncing these names right we got Inteleon sounds like a telly like TV right anyway so go for a sword dance here on my big sheep man 69 gigs of RAM is actually a really good name for this I couldn't have come up with anything better so I've got plus four now which is really good but I really need another one so what we're gonna do we're gonna go for a thunder wave strategy here on uh, the Inteleon. Now, one thing, people, I do have all the uh, Pokemon and the strategy after this theme team, so I'll be explaining all the strategy of my team, the EVs, the items, all that stuff you want to know, of course, as usual. Now, if you people want to see anything else in the Pokemon sweeps, like bloopers or extra stuff like that, please also let me know in the comment section of the video, too. I'll definitely give that some uh, consideration if we have enough people. All right, so getting my final sword dance up there against the Inteleon, we get a Paralyze there, which is really nice too. Speaking of Inteleon, I really like its uh, cool signature move. It looks very, very nice. Okay, so getting a little bit more uh, leftovers up. All that's left here is to go for a final baton pass into the little Wooloo. It's quite funny because I was using the evolution to swap in from a mummy to daddy. Man, that obstacle and shine, it looks absolutely amazing. All right, people, the time has come for the mighty Wooloo. Enjoy, people.
All right, let's have a look at the team setup. So starting off, we had the ninjas with max health and max speed. Uh, we had this as Jolly Nature. Sword Dance, Protect, Subshoot, and Baton Pass. Pretty standard for a uh, ninjutsu ninja. So you guys spread on its speed and attack. So most of the time, I could get one Sword Dance up, and I could get two maybe two to three uh, speed boosts off, which is really nice. And that enabled the Wooloo to actually outspeed things because its speed was, uh, you know, very, very trash. Now, the other Pokemon I had was uh, Dubwool, which is its evolution. We'd actually get Sword Dance and Baton Pass too, which is really nice. I also had Thunder Wave and Attract on this set too, which is really cool. Now, I had max health and max special defense. If you guys noticed, I was tanking those special hits really, really nicely. Now, the item I had on that was Leftover 2 for a little bit of recovery. Now, I had the ability Fluffy too, so I was able to tank of those physical hits uh, rather nicely too. Now, Diglett was there as an optional thing. They had Stealth Rock, a Memento, a Final Gambit. A Final Gambit and Memento would just get off the field. Memento was actually very, very handy to drop the stats of the opponent, but in that battle, I sort of noticed that uh, it wouldn't be such a bad matchup, so instead of dropping the stats and maybe causing a swap, I just got the uh, Diglett on the field. Now, they had the Arena Trap ability too, so obviously the opponent could not swap out, so I could freely set my Stealth Rocks up and just Memento or Final Gambit. Now, I had Protect on this set too, in case there was any, like, like fake out users, which there was on that team. Um, fortunately, they didn't start off there, but I had that in case I smelt a uh, fake out or a priority move that gets my Digger. Digger's defenses are awful. Um, you just get that one max speed. That's really all I did um, on this set here. I didn't actually put it on the showdown, but that's what I did on the set. Now, let's have a look at uh, Wooloo, of course. So on this one, we had Wild Charge, Facade, Reversal, and Double Edge. Now, I had uh, the Everlight, not the Seal Scarf, so that was the early build that I was doing. So we had the uh, ability Fluffy, now, Wild Charge, if you notice, a lot of its moves are actually recoil damage. So, Double Edge is its recoil, and Wild Charge is also recoil damage too. Now, I had Reversal. Unfortunately, I couldn't really make use of Reversal at its fullest, because I need to be on a low amount of health for that to work. But I did actually uh, Dynamax, and I was able to turn that into a Fighting-type move, which was very, very handy there too. So, obviously, when you Dynamax the moves, the moves change completely. Now, Wild Charge, obviously, I can make that uh, into Electric-type move in the Dynamax too, and I wouldn't take any recoil, so that was very important. And I could also do it with double edge too. So that was kind of the reason I had the Dynamax on this. And plus, it was a big, a big shiny sheet, which is awesome. And uh, you know, everyone wants to see that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the moveset. I had max attack and max speed. Now, I gave this one Adam and Nature because it kind of needed it. Its move for is just absolutely dreadful. It had really no way of boosting its attack or special attack, anything like that. So I pretty much had to rely on other Pokemon. As you guys know, uh, when the Pokemon does have some boosting stats, I normally always use them instead of Baton Pass Pokemon. All right, people. I hope you enjoyed the very first sweep of Generation 8. It was absolutely awesome. I hope to see you maybe tomorrow or the next day for a new video. Peace out.